Yeah, All right, are you are you guys ready to do the podcast? I think we're ready there. I'm gonna do chuckles. it. I'm doing it just like this. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And I'm Hess. And today we're talking about The Sopranos episodes 11 and 12. I clicked on the right ones this week. I didn't try to watch an episode ahead like last week. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. Uh, so before we get into the podcast, uh, it's not a big story, but uh, Apex Legends Season 2 just came out, and Nick downloaded it, and you know, we just discussed if you're going to buy the Battle Pass, Hess? Yes. There's a second option there to buy the Battle Pass, plus some extra shit, and down below it says you get all the way to level 25 off this purchase. And Nick bought it, not reading that part, so now he's already level 25 in the Battle Pass. Wow. So you miss out on all the stuff from... One to twenty-five. No, no he, you get he, it. All. He got it all instantly. Yeah. Uh, well, how much was the extra thing that you thing? Uh, it's like four thousand coins or something. Yeah, I don't whatever. know. It's, it's like, pro- probably like twenty bucks. <laughs> I, I almost had an accident. <laughs> uh, yeah, like twenty, thirty bucks. I, I had some Microsoft rewards left over, so I was right, like, right. I was like, I'll just get this other one. I read it. I thought you got like extra shit, and I was like, Nope, you get the same shit. You're I, just spending more money. Yeah, I'm like. Oh, you just like go up twenty. God damn it! Yeah, but twenty. The yeah. only person of us three that like really cares about ranking up and like enjoys that part of it, and he skips ahead of all of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I played two games. I'm a twenty eight. Nice. Yeah, he's pretty. He's that good. So and you already and you won. Well, that helped get two levels. Yeah. That helped me get a level up too. So that's funny. We both like. So you bought the battle pass on accident, bought the extra thing, and I didn't buy the battle pass. Thought I did, and I was like, "Why yeah. isn't the game working?" Yeah, if you want both times the battle pass has come out, I've done that both times. If you want, you want another story. So I come back over here, and I'm like, "You gonna buy the battle pass?" And he's like, "Yeah." So then he logs in with my fucking credit card. Yeah. And I was, I thought you were gonna buy the battle pass. He's, "Oh no, no, you are." So yeah. he buys a thousand coins. And then he starts to play, and I go, did you buy the Battle Pass? And he's like, yeah. I go, well, why does it tell you right there that you can still buy it? He's like, oh, I did this last time. I just got to restart my Xbox. So he restarts his Xbox no, and comes I up. just restarted the game. Oh, the game. And then he gets in there and he goes, I didn't buy the Battle Pass. <laughs> I was going to say, it costs more than 1,000 coins, doesn't it? No, oh. it costs 900, 950, 950, actually. Yeah. So I had 50 that's extra all, coins. That's all the last one cost. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks or oh, something. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's why we were amazed you didn't buy it. Yeah. Huh. It was like seven bucks or some shit. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It's cheaper yeah. than ten bucks. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, wow. we're gonna be playing Apex. Hopefully, we can make some videos on that. Yeah, I got one season two win. You know how many I got? Yeah. Yeah, I watched you play zero. Yeah, I was doing pretty shitty. I play, I'm sitting in the couch far away from the TV, and I'm under the. TV. How's the it's, map? It's, it's fucking. It crazy. is weird. It's way different. Yeah. I went to three places that we normally go to, and it didn't look anything like it used to, and I almost got stepped on by a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, yeah I, I saw a video online. I jumped. There's videos online? There's videos of me playing Apex Legends online. <laughs> and you watch you. Them? I jumped off. Cut. Apparently, there's daily challenges. Yeah, and they're okay. different for each so, person. One of mine was be caustic, and then one of mine was land and run off twice, which is where we usually land anyways. Yeah, so okay. I, I went to play, and he's like, be caustic, be caustic. Hey, hey I'm Nick, be caustic. And I was like, fine, I'll fucking be caustic. Well, because it's a challenge. And then the game ends, and I'm like... Oh, my challenges are different. You his, son of a, his, I never looked. So I was like, oh, you son his, of a bitch. His are different than mine. Wow. Isn't that weird? Cool. Yeah, that's weird. It's annoying now because I usually just like, oh, okay, I'll just do it next well, to you. Well, it and, actually, and I thinking about it, stuff. it makes sense because if all the people, like everyone would want to be caustic. Yeah, everybody would do would the be, same shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Just once. So then it's like, fuck, I just need to be caustic. See, but the thing now is... Now it's important which one of us is the jump master because like I might mine might be hey go to the little dinosaur bones and his might be hey go to Swamp Thing's house and then there's weekly like uh, get so much damage done in Swamp yeah or something like that there's like knock down so many people with yeah so I, like I was reading his and I'm like oh yeah I don't I don't rem- remember doing that one but I had part of it and I was like that's why it's, those are probably different too yeah that's cool yeah. Uh, but you guys want to get into some Sopranos. No, let's just keep talking about Apex. Did you guys like that the week after Hess brings us cannolis? Like, one of the first things t- Tony does is go get cannolis in these episodes? It was kind of funny. And it was, like, the same exact box, too. Uh, the, someone at work was watching it. She actually clicked on it on accident because she wanted to see... She clicked on her videos on accident? Well, no, she wanted to see you get hit in the face with a pie. But she was... Because she is uh, at work. It was, like, on her break or whatever. And she was like, oh, fucking cannolis look so good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. They were pretty The funny good. thing is, is like, uh, 
in 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 the show it cut they they wrap the 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 rope around it like on the box yeah, yeah. i asked for that but they didn't have it <laughs> oh really you asked yeah every any i shit you not when we went up to uh uh cottonwood and prescott when you watch the house whatever month or two ago Where true italian americans live there's yeah. like a there's like a there was like a bakery slash deli right right in prescott where we stayed and they had the same kind of boxes and i go i go do you have the rope i go i, I <laughs> and they're like uh you know we just ran out and i'm like fucking a so, that's funny so, so that's basically both you, times you bought. want rope so you can untie it and then he wants yeah, to feel like tony soprano oh i got some it's just more already. authentic it's more authentic i guess just, but I, would, you. I would never think, oh, this one has rope on it. That would I mean, never even occur to me. Never even thought about it. That's funny. That's the difference between me and you. Yeah. Huh. That's not the only difference, though, but that's one of them for sure. <laughs> no, yeah, there's more. There's there's definitely different differences. There's different differences? Yeah. <laughs> How many different differences is there? What are, what are these episodes called? Uh, has uh differences. It's called there's, there's a Rat and then Tony's Sad. No, it's well, not. Pretty much. That's, no, that's nobody n- nobody <laughs> knows anything and Yeah, nobody knows anything and Isabella. 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 You know, I'm I was a little jealous because we've talked it about this. It should just say pigment podcast. of my imagination is Be- what it should have been called. We've talked on this podcast before about how I wanted to lose my mind a yeah. little bit. And like how I think huh. that that'd be fun, but then you know, go back to normal. Of yeah, course. I remember he like, lost like a whole shit like a whole that. fight club thing. Yeah. This episode I was like, God, Tony Soprano, he gets everything. He's a nice house. He's a mobster, and then he gets to make up women in his backyard. I don't think he saw it that way. Yeah, well, you know, he never All right, should we get into it though? I think no, so. I think we should go around it. Okay. All right. So the beginning of episode eleven is basically all about pussy. Yeah, yep. yeah, it is. <laughs> oh yeah, big wow. pussy. I, there's a couple sound bites in this episode that I like. It would be so funny to take because I forget which part it is, but Tony says something like, God, I don't know where any pussy, or I don't know where pussy is. I can't find pussy and stuff oh, like that. I thought he about says so many random things of that talking about his friend, but he's like, I, I actually had that same thought. Like, he, like, where's pussy at? I don't know where pussy is. And I'm like, yeah, it's like so funny. I wanted Carmel to be like, somebody <laughs> right here. <laughs> but there, there were some really good parts like that. Yeah, what were you going to say? I was going to say, just like, uh, it, it's a conversation to walk in on with no context. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just pictured. Oh, someone has to have that gift, right? I can't find. Prob- I can't find pussy. Probably. Yeah. I'd look it up on my phones up there. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. So uh, it opens up with. Um, I don't know what Bordello House or whatever. The, the, yeah. What it, Bordello. Or whore, yeah. whorehouse, depending if you're Meadow or Tony. Right. Oh, it started at the whorehouse? Yeah. Oh, his, yeah, it did with all them there, yeah. His, his back went out. With the cop. And the cop. Yeah. Yeah. And Apparently they, he, like, lives there. Lived, I think is the correct You know, I didn't remember that that guy died until it started happening. I didn't think so. There's a... Because there's you never mentioned it? Yeah, there's a lot... No, wait, have you seen this one before? That's the main... <sighs> I swear to God, it's like every week. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Me, me, We're coming close. I, I've already watched seven episodes. <laughs> We're on episode 11 now. I don't I don't think I've seen these two. Uh, we found out I feel that like, I watched I more feel than like, I thought. I feel like I did see him jump off the bridge. Because, like, when it... Why would like, you? I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know. If, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Once he jumped I off, like, I remember. I was like, oh, I remember this scene. I wonder if, it, I wonder if there's, like, a gif of that. I mean, that's a pretty dark gif, but, like... I well, sent you maybe. a pretty dark gift the other day. Which one? Of the Sopranos. Oh, You're okay, like, why yeah. are you sending me this? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think I saw these. Well, yeah, so first his back goes out, and then he gets caught by the FBI at the pool house. So it's Well, a- he shouldn't have ran like a dumb fuck. Well, yeah, but I mean, first first they get raided, then he runs. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Why, why did he run? Uh, apparently, he didn't want to get busted. No, but why do you think he ran? <laughs> What do you mean, why do you think he ran? He ran because he didn't want to get fucking arrested. Okay. Um, he was acting pretty peculiar in the pool. Yeah, he's not, but he's not the rat. Well, but, I mean, you're led to believe he is. Of course, you're, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when we were watching this episode, even after, like, originally, even after they say it was, what's the guy's name? Johnny? Jimmy. 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 Uh, even after they say it's him, I was like, yeah, it's probably the other guy or both. Like we were, both. when we were originally watching it, 
I was like, I, st- I don't know. I still don't like pussy. And then you're like, well, yeah, it's because you suck cock all the time. And then I was like, okay, Nick, relax. Did I really say that? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it went down exactly like that. It sounds like something you would say. Yeah. It was weird, though, because when the FBI comes in, he's, he's not scared. And then that guy just happens to not guard the door, and then he yeah. runs out. So it was very peculiar. Well, um, even like he wouldn't take his clothes off, and he had all those excuses and shit. Yeah. Um, and the, and then the detective tells him his name Vin. I forget his, I forget his last name, but he, he tells him that Tony is Scully. It's not Scully, um, or Diesel for that matter. Um, he uh, he tells him that Tony's on is, is on the list, and yeah. then and then later you find out that the detective owes pussy thirty thousand dollars too. Yep. Yeah, which at first when they were talking, I wasn't I I didn't think they were talking about him. And then Tony's like, would he make up some shit like that? And I was like, oh, okay, well, they're talking about him. Yeah. Um, and Tony tells Christopher to watch Pussy, basically. Which I know. <laughs> I'm going to say Pussy a lot this Hey, episode. watch this Pussy. Apparently. But, you know it'd be funny if you, like, beeped every time you just Oh, my God. Pussy. That'd be a lot of bleeping. That'd be more <laughs> bleeping than when Hess rants. Hey, do you want to ever play Apex with him again? <laughs> Next week it can be beep. It would just be funny. Um, but I mean, so at this point, Tony thinks it could be him. He's worried about it. like when he went and visited him in his house and stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, he's talking vibes. to his son and he's like, hey, is there anything you want to tell me? Because remember, you have friends. Yeah. Is he going all into it? Hess yeah. is more like, hey, they got fucking rappers on their cannolis. What the fuck? What well, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's trying to fi- he's trying to figure out if he is really the rat. Yeah. If Hess was in a, in the mob and he'd like, be the rat. You, you answered my question before I could even do it. If you got cop of the FBI has and you were in the situation, they're like, and they gave you like the, the proposition that they give Tony. And they're like, you and your family can get out of here. You're free to go. Would you rat out for your family and get out of there, or would you be like Tony and be like, fuck this? No, I, I probably wouldn't rat. Huh. Well, and if you remember, so when when Tony goes to talk to Melfi the first time, he was like, take an oath. He was asking her about, what do you have a treehouse? Um. <laughs> so then. Uh, he was asking her, like, what can cause back pain and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, and she's she like, instantly secrets. says stress. secrets and yeah. stress yeah. and shit like that. Stress. What, yeah. what do you mean secrets? That, that, was, that did not help yeah. the situation. This reminds no, me, because of back pain, this girl that, I don't know if she worked at mom's work or she was a customer there or whatever, but she was into, like, like weird, like, sh- like oils shit for your body and oh, yeah. crystals and stuff like that. And she told mom that if you crack your big toe, that releases back pain. Jesus fucking Christ. Because it's connected to a certain thing and all that. So every time I tell him, I was like, oh, if I just crack your hurt toe, too. Like, if I just crack this toe, your back will feel better. That's so stupid. But I don't believe that at all. So every time I crack my toe, I go tell mom, you know, my back still hurts. <laughs> How long have you been wow. doing that for? Uh, about two months. I usually do it in Oh, it's like recent. It's been, it's been going, yeah, for a while. I was picturing like older. Oh, like, uh, no, yeah. yeah I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking back in the day. Yeah, me too. No, yeah, say. it's been like, it's been recent. Wow. But it's like... Do you believe that at all? No, not not one bit. Do you want to like hurt your back and then I'll crack your toe and we'll see if it feels better? No, I, I don't want to hurt my back and I don't want you to touch my toe. Why not? Are you afraid I might like turn you on? Yep. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Very uh, interesting. Um, you can crack Hess's toes. That's not the only thing I'll crack. Wow. I'm not cracking anything <laughs> there, Jack. <laughs> So Tony wants the detective to get the 302 form, which must be some kind of number to fucking, like, for the DEA. Yeah, it like seemed like it was basically the report on pussy. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like, like, they're like, like a form. I thought he's an I informant. It's just like a form or something, you know? Yeah, that's why I called the 302 form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it must be like, like, uh, he's like our witness. This is what, you know, you have to do all that shit. So, because mm-hmm. he said he was in Vegas for the, uh, Talking to the feds. Yeah, and he's like, you know what he was doing in Vegas? <gasps> yeah, so instead of... Uh, they said because he was dealing age, which we haven't really got into. Like, you know, what do you think the H stands for? Um, honey? Heroin? Uh, they're like bees. Honey. They're like bees? He's got a beehive in the back. I can see nice. I can see pussy in a, like a bee costume, like buzzing around Vegas and shit. He's like, hey, you want some honey? I got some no, honey the funny, for you. The funny thing is, like, uh, you know, do you know who Joey Diaz is? Yeah, I feel like the pussy guy looks like him a lot. I can see that, I, or like, or like that guy could be pussy's dad. Yeah, I could see that. You, know, know. you know who that is? Mm-hmm. He's friends with like Joe Rogan. Does a podcast. Uh, still don't know who he is. 
That didn't like that didn't put it in your memory. Nope. I'll show you a picture after. That'd be helpful. And then I'll show you a picture of pussy, and you can see. I'll be like, nope, yeah. that one's shaved. What are you talking about? <laughs> it does he look like a vagina? No, he looks like fucking the actor. God damn it. <laughs> he looks like he's fucking the actor. Yes, no. my God. <laughs> so do you think like when that guy took the role of pussy, like they're like, all right, your name's gonna be pussy on here, and that was like a thing that they're like, I don't know if you want this role, you're gonna be called pussy. <laughs> Maybe he liked that. Maybe he wanted it. Maybe he was like, you know what? Would Call you me t- Pussy, Pussy Mangalanga. <laughs> pussy Mangalanga. Even that's not my name. Call me that. Would you take the ro- Would you take the role as Pussy? Yeah, it starts with a B. Sure. Sure. He'd yeah. take any role. Alexa, what's Pussy's name in Sopranos? Last name. What's hmm. Pussy's last name in Sopranos? Fuck you. Has she ever answered a question on this podcast? Not for you. She asked for Hess. Hmm. She's uh, a fucking cunt. So Carmel visits uh, Tony's mom. That was nice. Speaking of cunts. Yeah, that was a nice little visit. What, how do you like Olivia these days? I don't know, but I don't know. I would not want to He doesn't eat. know what he's liking about? <laughs> you don't know how you like her? No, I'm just saying I would not want to eat ricotta pie. That sounds like the most disgusting fucking thing ever. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. It could be the best thing I don't thing like in the world. ricotta cheese, so I'm assuming it's just ricotta. It's ricotta pie. Uh, but yeah, her... No. Hey, Alexa. Alexa. What's in a ricotta pie? For the next six servings, you'll need two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil, two clove garlic, six sun-dried tomatoes, one zucchini, half red bell pepper, two stalks galley, one sprig fresh rosemary, She said pecorino. <laughs> no, no, don't save it to my phone, no. <laughs> Mima's sounds... going to come home and be like, why the yeah. fuck was Grum trying to add a ricotta pie to my list? Sounds disgusting. It sounds pretty I stopped right listening me. after the third one. It seemed pretty all right to me. I didn't think it was going to be that long. That's a lot of ingredients. Yeah. At that point, it just tastes like a mesh of stuff. So, you... <laughs> here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Abby, since you guys can ask uh, Alexa. Hey, Abby. What's Pussy's last name, and why did Alexa just fucking go off? It's Bump and Sarah. She, oh, she said I'd rather not mention that. That's great. Abby said that? Tell Abby to <laughs> calm down. <laughs> just kidding. Do you have to say, hey, Abby? Yeah, that's the thing. Hey, Abby. She goes, boop, boop. Yes, ass? What is it? Tell us a story. Oh, Bump and Sarah. Bump and Sarah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, uh, bump and cero. Pussy bump and cero. Is his legal name pussy, or is it like no. is it like Jeffrey? And they're like, why do they call him pussy then? Because he. Thank you. I don't know. Why are you asking this episode you eleven? You finished The Sopranos. That's his nickname. I don't know. Why do they call you How dumb you... shit? Because I'm his a dumb shit. His nickname is Big Pussy. <laughs> what Puss. the... How did you get so big all of a sudden? <laughs> Calm down. Sal. His name's like oh, Salvatore. Sal. Well then. How... Yeah. Why did they call him pussy? Yeah. They don't explain anything. He's yeah, Salvatore. 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 Oh, does he, Sal- he used to like? Uh, oh, play so Salvatore balls? bump. Salvatore big pussy bump and settle. Why are you saying it with an accent? I I just feel like that's a name you should say with an accent. Oh, it sounds more right. Uh, or how would you want to say it? bump and settle? Yeah, that'd be better. Yeah, where you go? That, that's how you have to talk bump to Nick and listen. You have to say it. I didn't hear half the shit you said because we were talking and you were like faded out. So I heard him the whole oh. time because I have ears. No, you don't. Why do they call him pussy? You're not answering my question. I don't know the answer to it. You'd have to ask. I bet you he he probably pulled a lot back in the day. You know those Salvatore. He ain't done a lot of pussy. Yeah. Or maybe he's just a big pussy. Why do you keep getting so huge? Or. <laughs> <laughs> you look like I a mean, because they like when they when they originally think that he he's turned rat. They're like, oh, he's a family man. Like he's, he's more concerned about his family and keeping his family safe and that, getting that his doesn't sound like somebody. That doesn't sound like you call a guy a pussy to me. No, well, he's a he's saying. a kind gentleman. They should call him yo. Kind gentleman's missing. Where's the kind gentleman? He, does he seem more of a pussy than Polly Walnuts? Who's Polly Walnuts? Jesus fucking Christ! Are we really having this conversation? Who's Polly Walnuts? It's Polly. 
Uh, the guy that takes him to the... Oh, his name's actually... Oh, I forgot. I have to remember Walnuts. You don't remember when he's like, <laughs> Walnuts? No, I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> yeah, he does seem more of a pussy than that guy, but that guy can't I, call, I called him Polly Peanuts, though, remember? You've called him everything. I'm not, no, you're not I'm good with... Pretty... You're not very good with names. I have a good grasp on the characters of the show. You Yeah, maybe, but you're not good with names. Yeah, what's his therapist's cool. name? Dr. Melfi. What's oh. your first name? Huh? <laughs> huh? I can't tell you her first name. <laughs> then why'd you say her? Huh? But then... Jennifer? Wait, hold on. Cut back. I have a good grasp on all these characters' names. <laughs> what's her first Dr. name? Dr. Melfi. I... That's what everyone knows her as. Dr. Melfi. Okay, what's... uh? Uh, what's the detective's what name? What's the detective's name? Vin. What's the rapper from last week's name? Ooh, uh, ooh this is good. This is good, <laughs> huh? <laughs> massive boner. <laughs> it was massive. I'll go. No, that's that. your nickname. If, yeah, massive. If Hess massive, was a, uh, if we genius, were, if we were a mob, yeah. what would our nicknames be? Starting with Hess. Oh my god. He would be Harry Pussy. <laughs> I can see that. Yo, Harry Pussy, yeah. what are you doing? Harry Pussy selling H down the street. Yours would be hairless. Yours would be hairless chicken legs. It's, hairless, b- it's bitch legs. Hairless oh. bitch legs. Yeah. So we're like we're just n- <laughs> don't have hairy <laughs> legs. <laughs> Look at that chicken with those hairy legs. <laughs> that would actually be really scary. Yeah, right. Really? Well, well, we're not a scary mob, by the way. Apparently. What, what about what about what about Jerome? What, what, Jerome? what would my mob nickname be? I can't say it. We'll get banned from YouTube. I'll bleep it out. <laughs> wow, okay. Whoa! Definitely getting bleeped there. <laughs> beep, beep. Can you can you think of a more friendly, family friendly name for me? Oh, um. <laughs> well, that kind of gives it away what he said. <laughs> you can bleep that one too, I guess. <laughs> baby fly, baby fly. So we got hairless bitch legs, baby fly, and what was his hairy pussy? Well, baby fly. Yeah. That's a... Oh, and I gotta bleep that. <laughs> We're just like deteriorating smaller and smaller. Yeah. All right. Well, I kind of regret You have to that. earn your nickname. You can't just come up with a nickname. Okay. So you're saying I haven't earned a nickname yet? Yeah. Go out and kill a couple people and deal and then, some AIDS and then, and then, and then I'll talk to you. And then you'll call me Little I mean, this Baby is, Fly? You, I mean, you could be... Um, let's see. What, what would you call someone that runs into the house because he sees a friendly neighborhood? Biker? Biker. That's actually a... Pussy. Family. He's little pussy. I'm little See? pussy. He's hairy pussy. You're his bitch legs. <laughs> wow. My son, that's not even a new nickname. Yeah. Um. So so Sylvia tries to take pussy to the spa, whatever you call it. A, what is it? It was a spa. Spitz? He called it, it called? Spitz. And then he's like, take he's your like, clothes off. Take your clothes off, pussy. Polly's crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's nuts. But I love him. Yeah. Yeah, I actually felt bad for him and Tony... Like, he's, like, throwing him against, like, a fridge and over, and he's like, don't fucking lie to me, did you do it? And he's like, no, no, get your fucking hands I off I did me. like that, how he stood up to him at the end, though. He's yeah. like, get your fucking hands oh, off absolutely. me. absolutely, you have to. Yeah. Um, I like whenever those situations go down. It's Sylvia, like, it's the younger Polly, right? Yeah. I am, When I see those two, I imagine Sylvia is Polly, like, normal time, and then Sylvia time, or, sorry, Polly time traveled back to hang out with Sylvia, and they're just, like, the same person hanging out with the younger self. Do you have a warped little mind? Because they they look so much alike, and they like kind of act. They don't look to anything you. alike. They've always looked like the same people. They me. look nothing alike. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. And Silvio is just a guy in Bruce Springsteen's band, so it's easy to remember. Mm-hmm. Well, they look the same to me. I think there's a time travel theory in here. So, right after that, that's when Silvio does tell Tony that uh, Vin owes him thirty k. The whorehouse gets busted with the detective, the other capo. Um, oh, Doctor Mop and Glow. Doctor well, he was he was in the beginning. He didn't get caught. Oh, he didn't get caught. No, he helped Pussy in the beginning. Yeah, well, I knew he did, but I thought I, I thought mean, when they were like talking about it on the news, I thought it was like a doctor, a detective, and my capo or whatever all busted. It was. It uh, was. I could be wrong. You are. They they did say a couple <laughs> people, but I don't know. No, it was a det- it was a cop, a Madden, and a gangster. Okay. They're like, what else do you need? Are you more embarrassed to be with the gangster or the or the madam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Tony's like, what the fuck? Did you think, so after that he gets caught and he's arrested and all that shit, and mm-hmm. later on he's stuck in traffic? Yeah. How the fuck did he get through that traffic? I don't know. Oh, it's a detective. Let him through. How did he drive through that? 
That looked undrive throughable. They moved. He made people move. They moved a couple of cars, but like, what were they driving? Like into the fucking forest? Well, because they cut off a lane mm-hmm. on the yeah. bridge, and then so, so he was oh, just okay, able so to they just get kept in moving over. That. So basically, he moved all the traffic so he could kill himself. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Do you think like the couple people that are driving by, they're like, "What the fuck? We had a wait line because this house wanted." Which I thought that, but I guess like, how bad do you think traffic was after that? He just wanted. To, I was gonna say they probably shut the fucking bridge he down. He wanted to just kill himself, out. and I guess like, I don't know what that mindset is. But like, he's like, he couldn't have waited ten more minutes in traffic just to go die. He was fucking losing his mind, and then he was out. ready to go. And he really, couldn't he? Have it just, reminded me of mom. Couldn't he have just like left his car there and ran? He had to drive ten feet to go do it. Well, he obviously didn't want to kill himself when he was. Honking. Well, and I feel like it probably would have threw him off too if he gets out, parks his car. And so then, what you're you know saying what I mean? is, it's the traffic jam. That I, it was the final straw, I guess. That, that yeah. I don't know. So I've never traffic, tried to kill myself. traffic can kill, for sure. Huh. This, I mean, you've never driven. I've been in a car. <laughs> it's great. You've been <laughs> in a boat too. Not on, you, not on sale. Yeah, exactly. Um, so were you surprised when he killed himself? Yeah, but for like I said, for whatever reason, it vaguely I vaguely remember that. I don't know. Hess was there on set. If you haven't seen scene. it, you can't remember it. Right. That's well, what those I mean, are, like, those are words to live by. Yeah. It seemed v- familiar. So. Very familiar. <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar. pretty familiar. Sure. I know I haven't seen the finale. So of the entire series, of this fucking season. Oh, okay. Um. We were discussing the finale and stuff that we thought happened here or next season. We realized it happens like at the end. They're like in season three, so I was like, "Oh, I've seen a lot more than I thought I have." I think. Oh, I, really? I yeah. think my memory really expands season one, if Jerome's right. I didn't really look it up. But I mean, of course, the Wikipedia. If, if the Wikipedia the, for the show is right, then yeah. The title of the uh, the next episode kind of it throws me for a loop. What is it? What is it? Something about loving Kuzumano or something like that. Oh, look, I dream of Jeannie Kuzumano. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, that. that's when Tony, you know, he, you know, they go on vacation together and they start blowing each other. Yeah. I, th- I thought he got a little Jeannie lamp. I dream of, oh, I dream then, of Jeannie. Huh? Yeah. He comes out. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to give you away anything with that title. But, um, what? And so, like, uh, obviously, you know, it's next episode. But it this watching this kind of remind me of season one of Game of Thrones. Like Tony almost dies. Oh, I thought about that because we had the whole conversation here. I was like, oh, if they would have killed him here, it would have been like people would have been like, oh, Game of Thrones copied The Sopranos. Like when it came out, even though the books are older than that, like a lot of people would have said that. I think if Tony did die right there and like the show continued on just about the mob and stuff like that. Yeah, I I I don't think it would have done nearly as well. It's it's hard to say though. You never know. I mean, like for me, that obviously I, I, there's no I, right I would have took that. I would have saw that as, oh, that's very interesting that they just because the whole time, like the show is Tony Soprano goes to therapy and dealing with the mob, and then to get rid of that, like episode eleven, you'd be like, holy shit, or twelve. Yeah, it's dealing with two two different families. Yeah, so that that, that would, I think that would have been a ballsy move, but like I could, for the show, it doesn't make sense now after watching the whole thing. Not it it would have made it completely different, but I think that would have been interesting. Yeah, I just it's it's hard to even fucking fathom for me. So, mm. um, I, yeah, I, I've only seen twelve episodes. Yeah, he'll be, he'll keep saying I, I've only seen twelve. I've only seen thirteen episodes. I've only seen fourteen episodes now. <laughs> I know, I know, I haven't. I know, I haven't seen thirteen. So, for sure. Um, so Junior visits fucking Livia. And this is where she's she's found out that they sold the house. And, oh yeah. And and where are they gonna have all their meetings now, huh? And she basically drops the uh, that they're having the meetings there. Tony, uh, Junior loses his shit and basically is telling her that he's gonna have Tony killed. Yeah, and she doesn't really she doesn't seem to have a problem him. with that. No, it's her whole fucking plan. Yeah. It's, of course, she doesn't have a problem with her plan. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. she knows what he's got to do. She lived through all this shit before. Um, she's playing junior like a fiddle. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I feel like you know, almost anybody can. Yeah, I mean, kind of, because he's so caught up in his own shit. I I think previously when Carmelo, um, Carmelo, <laughs> Carmela, um, Anthony? yeah, visits her and she's like, I forget Tony's dad's name. But he's a saint, and well, yeah, and she's like. Yeah, Johnny. Funny, Johnny. funny you never mentioned that when he was live. Yeah, and then 
and then she which was, I like that she called her out on it. Yeah, because Tony's mentioned that, but only in therapy. And he's rolled his eyes when she said it. Yeah, right. But um, but then. When she said, I like the way you and Junior are spending time, she, like, takes it the wrong way. And yeah, I don't she's think almost Carmella... like, I'm not fucking Junior. What are you talking about? Yeah, and she didn't mean that. Yeah. Um, but she's like, he couldn't hold Johnny's socks. And it's just like... It doesn't seem that hard. How heavy are his socks? They're heavy as fuck. He puts, like, 10-pound weights in each of them? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, Hess is going to get arrested. You hear that? Your house on fire? Yeah. <laughs> his neighbors We're are banging. banging. His neighbors, neighbors are banging, are... but for different reasons, because Hess locked him in there and started a fire. Na- <laughs> neighbors are banging. Wow. Um, so after that, they're having a little family dinner, and uh, they, uh, oh, Puika just tweeted a photo. That popped up on my... I did that like a half hour ago. Thanks, Twitter, yeah. for notifying yeah, people Twitter's on, quick. right on time. Um, and Jimmy's out, and uh, he comes to visit them at the... Uh, at, Tony's home, house. which is normal. Yeah. That's normal, right? That was, that was a very weird. And then he's like, oh, you guys somewhere in private we could talk. And then he keeps asking questions. Hey, what are you going to do with that money? Yeah, Tony's like, Yeah, oh, and the fuck. funny thing is, is like, you t- you can totally tell the moment it clicked for Tony. Yeah. And it was funny. He's all he he's upset because this guy's a rat. But he almost seems relieved because he's like, oh, it's not pussy. Yeah. Too. So then he's like, okay, I got to get this guy out of here. And then he's like, oh, fuck, they're going to kill pussy tonight. I got to get right. the hell out of here. Yeah. And... So towards the end, too, uh, we talked about it with, with Tony, but, like, uh, Mikey gets the news that t- that Junior wants to be the hit. It's going to go on tomorrow or whatever he said. And yeah, he actually from Chicago. He actually tells his wife that they're going to do it. Oh, he, 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 he told, we're, this, we're dead, we're next like, or whatever. Like, would like, Tony tell Carmela that he's killing someone? There's no fucking way. No. No. Yeah, he only like, tells her when he doesn't. That's true. That's true. But it's a really good episode. I like. I love. Yeah, I these two I like these two. These two, I think, were like ones that got me really into this season. These ones I remember the most too, which I so I probably liked them beforehand also. Right. Uh, while you guys get into the next episode, I'm gonna do a radio thing. Okay. So next one is Isabella. Isabella. So did you? When did you know she wasn't real? Mm, probably when they were having lunch. I think so Carmela sees her after that so you knew she wasn't real then even when Carmela saw maybe, maybe I'm not. asking I knew after the fact I don't remember when the first time I saw it yeah so. I knew she was fake from beforehand yeah but um see, I, I, I don't, just feel I don't like, think originally I just I don't like fake. lunch because like she was I, I guess I didn't know for sure but I had my doubts okay that she was I, fake. I don't remember originally if I knew she was fake or not yeah, I don't because uh, I don't because remember. like he was just like a like really dumb at lunch like just spacing out and like <laughs> I really going. I really he was wish, really dumb they I wish they did the things that <laughs> well, I was oh. gonna say another word but I didn't he was notice. depressed he he, he was yeah. gonna make me do another bleep um I wish we could see like when most movies like when they go back and see Tony and he's like outside by our house and he's like handing her her blouse and Jenny's like hey what are you doing I'm Tony yeah. but he's just standing there with no one there like the wind blowing. Or did he? Because I'm going. Yeah, but see, did then he? I'm going. What? Are, what? Like, what are the odds that this chick is going to think that he's an attractive guy? I mean, I don't know. Some... A lot of people think Tony Soprano's attractive. Yeah. That's why they call me uh, Tony Soprano. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't heard think anyone's that. ever called you that. I don't think. And not it, one person. And has don't say you. Abby calls me that because I just <laughs> you guys are role playing Sopranos tonight, and that's a little weird. Not one no. single person. Um, you're like, yeah, but who's don't no call me pussy? <laughs> who who's to say he's even left his bed this whole time? Yeah, see, I wish yeah, I wish we much. could see that. You know what and I mean? He's just like date. Although he did go to therapy because she yeah. knew about that, so he did leave. He did go there and then just walked outside but, and pretended but, to see her. Yeah, but he we went to get his donut or whatever the fucking juice in a newspaper. Yeah, but what I mean is, when he's having this stuff, we don't know if right. he's really in his bed or not. Right. Yeah. Obviously, when he's going to therapy, he's at therapy. But... Well, but I mean, because he leaves therapy and sees her. But does he? No, but I'm saying, I know, obviously, she's not yeah. real. But I mean, when he walked out of therapy, I wish we could see a scene where he's just, like, talking to her. Or if he's just, like, walking home and that's all in his head and he doesn't realize it. Or, like, he yeah. walked to the lunch I place. I did, like, did you, that. so, like, well, we'll get into it. But, um, so, at the beginning... They're at a funeral, which I remember they go to a lot of funerals. I think that's season two. 
Uh, Maybe yeah, I, don't, I don't. I, I guess I can't get into that too much. But there's a lot of funerals. If I remember, Junior's talking about the Jesus card not having any value. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, Honest. people collect baseball cards. They don't collect this. Yeah, Honus Reitner's worth a yeah. million dollars, and that was funny. Uh, Hon- oh, I just kicked Noah. Fuck. <laughs> um, Honus Wagner could hit a lot better than Jesus. Let's be honest. I mean, I've never seen Jesus play baseball, so yeah, that's he couldn't play. Mm. He got cut. Um. And but Jimmy's there and and he's like talking like yeah hey no you I think you should have killed that guy and he's like what the fuck so I mean there's another like strike against Gimme Gimme yeah, he knew. Gimme <laughs> Gimme the new character that, that, that's when Sopranos. Junior found out figured it out figured out what the Jimmy was that I, I just think like, he, I just think he's a lot thinks he's a loud mouth I don't, think, I don't know well, I don't well, know if ever but, but at the at the end of the funeral he's talking to Tony he goes you were right Jimmy's a rat. So I feel like that's where he found out when he comes in, talking and no. Tony wasn't at the funeral. No. Or who? Who did he tell that? He said something to somebody, and he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> he Jimmy. said something to somebody. He did have dialogue. Yeah. You are correct, sir. I don't remember yeah. that at all. But what I'm so saying I, I is, he know. said Jimmy is the rat. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't. I don't remember that. I, I know. I know he didn't tell Tony because Tony was laying in bed. Yeah. Um, he was taught. He was at the funeral with Mikey, and Mikey kept talking about the hit on Tony. So I'm pretty sure Tony wasn't there because that would have been a little spoiler on Tony's right, part. Right, right. But um, <laughs> Tony gets and up, then and spoilers. <laughs> like literally, Junior's like, "Shut the fuck up! I don't want to hear about it anymore." It would be because he's having problem. He doesn't want to kill his nephew, but he yeah. thinks right. he should. Right. He also thinks he's conspiring against him, which he is sort of, but not. He's doing it in a nice way, sort yeah. of. Yeah. Right. He just he wants to give him the illusion that he's in charge, but then Junior thinks that he's doing that to take him over. Right. Where he, in reality he wants no part of what yeah. Junior has. Um Christopher's worried about Tony. Like he oh, comes yeah. over and he's like, I, like I told you both times I watched this episode, like before and now, when he goes up and he's st- stalking Tony, I was like, Oh hey, look, he's so smart. He's saving t- Oh wait, that's an accident. Yeah. Like when he parks in front of those guys, at both times I was like, oh, wow, Chris I, is getting better. So when he follows Tony to the shop and he parks between Tony and the guys who are doing the hit, I, I for some reason, I just love that interaction between them. Like mm-hmm. Tony's oblivious. He goes into the place and then goes through to go see yeah, He's oblivious that he's blocking the hit. And then they talk to him and he's like, yeah, where's your badge? And they're like, fuck you. And then just go back in their he's car. Just get the fuck out of here. He goes, hey, move your car. He goes, well, fuck off. And it's just like so funny that like, he has no idea that he just stopped Tony. Yeah, from I like that when at the end he's like, "Motherfucker!" Well, he's like, "It's a Taurus." He's like, "Taurus." Yeah, and then he's like, "Two he black guys." Realizes <laughs> like, it, what it was. Yeah, it's funny. It's totally because watching California Cajun, he's in like all the last season. I like him so much more. But then I realized he keeps on using that catchphrase even in California Cajun. What the motherfucker? Like the way he says it. Oh, really? It's even in that, and I was like, "Oh, it's funny." They like totally transfer that over to that. Nobody says motherfucker better than, well, Samuel Jackson, but <laughs> second is the main dude, uh, David and, Duchovny. Yeah. That's right, motherfucker. So Christopher stops it, luckily, and then, so after it, after it stopped on accident, they meet with some guy named Donnie who set it up. Junior actually pukes out of the back of the car. Cause yeah, he that part was it. fucking gross. Yeah, because he's, well, he's like fucking... Having an ulcer or some yeah. shit. They meet with this guy. He's like, I promise to do it tomorrow. And he can't believe his own mother wants him whacked, which does not go over good with Junior. Yeah, so then nope. they kill him. Yeah, yeah, Donnie's dead. Yeah, Donnie's Darko. <laughs> wow. Um, he, uh, I liked how when they drive away, they fucking, Junior, like, looks up, like, fucking. He's, like, hiding, like, a little boy. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> like, looking at him. Like, he's, like, like, peeking through, is Santa Claus coming? He's all, like, weird. Yeah, it was very creepy. And that guy's like, just, oh, I guess they, guess they did it. I still mm. don't like Junior. I don't know why. I, I don't like I Mrs. find him just so obnoxious. He is. Yeah. But he's his uncle, so I, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Mm. Um... Tony sees Melfi and tells her about Isabella and then has lunch with her. Yeah, and then uh, has a dream of her breastfeeding him. I wish they would have <laughs> went full Game of Thrones and had like actual like Tony Soprano there sucking on her titty and stuff. It's just like a full oh, size like, Tony. Yeah, and he's like, I wonder what. Or this like means. a baby with Tony's head. Yeah. Yeah, that'd have been awesome. They didn't have the budget for that. Um. And then they they have dinner with Livia. 
Tony comes down in a bathrobe. She's talking shit. Junior doesn't show up. Tony's like, fuck this. I'm going back to bed. And he's like, I'm never coming back to this house again. We need to have like a fucking counter for every time she says that. Yeah, no shit. Literally, yeah. every time she's there, I'm not coming back to this house. I like how, I don't remember what Tony He did look like shit, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the whole point of the episode. They did, they did a real yeah. good job of making him look depressed. I like that. There's, there's like one scene where like he's talking to Christopher, and like you could hear the fucking water dripping in the background. They like tilt the camera. They really want you to get the feel that he's depressed. Yeah, I mean, we and we got it. It was like it came across. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, he's seeing shit. He's imagining shit. So uh, maybe I just gotta make a friend named Pussy and lose him, and then I can imagine someone in the backyard. He, Let's not. I mean, you do imagine people. I've never met. Ima- I didn't imagine that fucking biker. Don't. <sighs> I thought. Didn't you have like an imaginary friend you talked about on the show once? No. Who? I don't think so. Jerome, no. Mm-mm. He had an imaginary dog. What? Or an imaginary wolf. Oh, when I was like two, I had an imaginary friend. Yeah. Gotcha. I never. I was so. I, don't know, I just. I, I was so like upset that I never had like an you. imaginary friend. Really. I mean, unless I, unless I did, and I haven't realized it yet, but as far as I'm aware, I haven't had an imaginary friend. I don't even know what to say to that. Well, I mean, because you don't realize it until an important part of your life, and it's like, <gasps> da, 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 and I think all kids play with imaginary people. Like, uh, yeah, but, no, it's ghosts. Oh, uh, my bad. No, I don't, I don't think I ever played with, but about maybe it's because I had, like, me. Taylor and Macy were there, and then we hang out with Willow and Jackson and stuff. Like, I didn't need to have an imaginary friend. I should have been more lonely, I guess. I mean, it does help you're the middle child. Yeah. Should have been more lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I've always like everyone like I've been people like oh, I had an imaginary friend named Bill. We used to do like I never had an imaginary friend. I don't. I mean, I whose don't, fault is that? That's my stupid imagination. Yeah. So I could think of something to say on a podcast, but I can't imagine Billy Bob over here. Barely. Yeah, that's true. Um. So. Carmela sees Isabel out the window doing laundry. Yeah, see. Which your first. Fucking thing. She's hanging laundry. You know, his imagination is pretty good yeah. with like her though. He got her spot on. Carmela? Yeah. I mean he's married to her, but I like it. Cause then she does she What not, the fuck is happening? It sounds like someone just put a kazoo in their asshole and blew it. <laughs> Did she send a kazoo? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> She's playing a racing game. She with a kazoo in her butt? Hmm. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to put a kazoo in someone's butt and see if it sounds the same. You all right, honey? <laughs> <laughs> she gets really upset when she plays her game. She gets so pissed off she puts kazoos in her butt. You should get her to play Apex. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, she can't shoot. You know, they yeah. did go through too many kazoos. I don't, I don't know. She 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 doesn't she doesn't play shooting. She she plays that crash racing. That's what she's playing. You don't shoot in GTA. Yeah, but that has auto aim. So does Apex. So does Apex and Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Apex has auto aim. Yeah, you probably yeah. turn yours off. Just kidding. Mm. That's not auto aim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. is. It snaps onto the people when you. Yeah. Yeah. It's no not. Shit. It's not like as like good as Grand Theft Auto where it stays in the whole time. But it, yeah. it, there's aim assist technically. Yeah, there's definitely called. definitely assist. Have you ever noticed I that, that it like, kind of clicks onto him? Yeah. Nope. Never noticed it. Hmm. Mike also doesn't play maybe with Maybe it is off on mine, so. huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, where are we? The um. So, yeah, she sees her in his fictitious world. Says he's going to cut his dick off. Um, yeah, which I was like, that's kind of scary. Like, after the fact that he's like imagining Carmel, like, I'm going to cut your dick off. And then later on, when he tells her, she's like, maybe I should cut your dick off. I know. Uh, and then it shows Livia and Junior like real quick going to the movies. Yeah. And, oh yeah. It's all windy, windy as about that. fuck. Windy, yeah. windy as fuck. Hats blowing down the street and shit, and he's standing like it was re- weird. And like they're they're ha- they always have like two different conversations at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Like one's important. Talks about how expensive it is to fucking go see a movie. Or and something. yeah, yeah. And then he's then she's talking. about I didn't quite get the purpose of that. Yeah, actually, I completely forgot about that scene until you mentioned it. Well, it's just uh, because they were talking about Tony. Yeah. You know, um, and what and what's gonna happen, basically. Um, but 
it's just so weird to me. And then it just like cuts. It was like a minute scene. Yeah. You know? Is that? Is it cut? And he's like, that? I don't. He's like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's, yeah. I'm not talking about it. Anymore. Does it cut to that to Tony getting his orange juice and stuff? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Then Tony's what? Yeah. Then that's when the hit happens right and after that. Teaches you a lesson. Don't go buy orange juice in the street. That was a big fucking orange juice. Problem, that's a lot man. of orange juice. It was just a, like a fucking quart. What's funny is like. As I was going on, I kind of forgot that's where he gets shot. Cause, so then he's like, why is this taking so long? He's buying orange juice in a newspaper. Like, what's the point of this? And oh, then he, you and then he starts walking happened. away, and I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, he's going to get shot here. I know, so like, I knew it was going to happen. and He should have he died. That's just the way I see it. Why do you think he should have died? They, not... executed that, they executed that hit horribly. Oh, I thought they did actually a really... To me, when I was watching this, I was like, wow, they did a surprisingly good job for how old this is. Of oh, him, he, he's him. talking about the the hitman. You're talking about the HBO, right? Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about like the hit. Like they, he was right there, clear as day. I feel like they should have been able to kill him. Oh yeah, I, I was uh, yeah. So we were talking different. I was thinking they, so, I'm not, surprisingly yeah, good job of that. of yeah. him getting away with it. I thought I was like, oh, that's actually really good because it could have been pretty shitty. Have been like, oh, they could have obviously killed him. They could have killed him, but also. I mean, he's running up on Tony. Tony turns around. He wasn't expecting that, so he shoots him on the run. Now, that guy should have shot him. Yeah. Well, especially because like, they shoot but his th- ear, too. There's also, it, there was just a lot of dumb luck involved. Yeah. Yep. Like, and, when the one guy walks up and shoots and kills his friend and just, like, skims Tony's ear. And I'm, I'm guessing those two overpower the average person, but they're not going to overpower him. Like, like, when he reaches in there and he grabs his gun, or, or the other guy fucking sticks his gun through the fucking window and then he fucking after he shoots his friend which yeah is fucking funny. he's just pulling it yeah. away as he drives away and he's like laughing tony didn't really get shot the other guy got shot it was like fragments almost well yeah i thought it like skimmed his ear then, yeah and maybe then hit the guy's maybe. head yeah it's hard, it was hard to tell yeah um you know and in, in a in a situation like that your aim isn't usually quite as good as yeah well especially John it's, it's their second time like yeah. trying to go do it yeah. too, so they're I mean, probably super nervous. They should have killed him, obviously. If the guy had better aim, because I don't know, like Tony's a pretty big guy, and he aims for the guy's orange juice. I mean, come on. I think it's because he was on the move and he just didn't expect him to turn around because he saw him in the mirror mm-hmm. or in the window. Yeah, which was cool. That was a cool scene. Seeing he's like grabbing the gun and like pulling it out. Yeah. Um. I liked how he gets away and he's laughing and then he just crashes his car. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been yeah. funny if they were going to kill Tony Soprano in this. He does all that. He's like, oh, he's such a bat. And then just hits that and dies that way. You'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, and he like go like just flies out the windshield. Jesus. Yeah. And you're like, wow. What the fuck that's is a, wrong that's an interesting way to kill him. Um, But yeah, I, I don't know. It's like when I was watching it. I and was, then he wakes up from his depression nap. That's all just. Uh, no, yeah. I think see, now you're getting crazy. <laughs> I don't want everything to be a dream. Oh, that would, I didn't even think that would have been kind of like interesting if it was all he made up the entire episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I knew Jerome would have been. I knew Jerome was into that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows? That might be what uh, Breaking Bad movie Walt might wake up and then he made up some shit. I can't see Vince Gilligan doing that. Yeah, no, I don't see that either. Um, so the family visits him in the, in the emergency room. Uh, so and so does the FBI. Yep. Yeah, and he's like, "Can you wait for me to sew my fucking ear back on?" I'm giving him. Giving him the get out of jail free card. I like yeah. how Tony just doesn't want him, it, and he's just like a dick to him. He's just like, get the yeah. fuck out of here. I don't want to yeah. talk to you. And then, but Carmela does talk to him, takes his card. The guy's probably a nice guy. I, yeah. Anyway, um, hard to talk about the show and you yeah, can't say anything. Um, well, and the funny thing is, is, I don't remember some stuff, but if I say something I do remember, then I might be wrecking. You know yeah, what that's I mean? why I told because I don't remember how much you remember either. I told him we were at Winco the other day. And to make sure, like, the names are right and the tags for putting up this podcast, I Google them to make sure it's spelled right. And for a certain character I Googled, I saw a major spoiler. But I told him I didn't want to tell him what it was because I don't know how much he remembers. I think I remember oh, it Oh, boy. I think I remember it all, but, like, you know, who knows? There's thing, I, I mentioned it to Mom, and she's like, oh. and I was like, yeah, I wish I went to saw that. Wow, that's funny. Um, so... The kids come. Polly and Silvio come. They look fucking pissed off. Like they yeah. weren't. They weren't having it. No pussy though. Pussy wasn't in this episode. Still yeah, no he's pussy. Missing the whole time. Um. And then uh, they, they mentioned too at one point that like it's Jimmy, right, or John? What was the guy's name? It's the, Jimmy. The, Jimmy. That he's gonna catch on or whatever because like they're giving him like petty work basically. 
Oh yeah, they're not saying shit to him because yeah. of the wire or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they have like a little like get together at their house. I guess first Junior Junior comes to fucking Libby and goes, "What the fuck are we gonna do? We go visit my son. He got shot." Yeah. She's and then, losing and her then, mind. So that yeah, then they go to Tony's house and. That's, so now what, that, the, that's when Christopher realizes that it, that was, it's, it was the guys that he blocked earlier, and then she shows up. And I like I like too how he got out of it too. He's like, w- w- yeah, you take, were the, take w- my mom to the doctor. He's like, oh okay. Yeah, he he was more yeah. worried about why he's following him, and he's like wondering like, well, did he see me go to Melfi's? Like, yeah. Um, and then Livia doesn't recognize Meadow. Yeah. So do you think she's making that up, Hess, or do you think she literally didn't remember? I don't know. And that's why know. we that's why we asked your opinion. Yeah. But, uh, me and him, I think she's banging it up. We, I remember there was a lot of discussion when I was watching this originally if she was making it up or if she wasn't, because it comes up quite a bit later on. Yeah. Um. But I, I'm I still am not sure if she's making. Yeah, it I, up. I'm not. I'm not certain. Yeah. I mean, part of me wants to believe she is making it up because it is very part convenient. Of me wants to believe that. I mean, she is older, so... Yeah, it's just very you know? convenient all of a sudden now she's going to forget things. And yeah, she, right. she hasn't forgot Meadow until she put a hit on her son. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think she's making it up. I think she's or exaggerating it. Or it could even be a thing where, like, it is fake, but because of the stress of the situation, kind of like with Pussy's back pain and all that, where, like, <clears> like <throat> when you think you're sick to get out of a situation, all of a sudden you really get sick, she was, like, so scared that she made herself forget things in a way, but, like, it's not real, you know? Uh, no, I think she's a conniving bitch. Could be that too. She is yeah. a conniving bitch. I think she tried to get her son killed and it backfired, and now she's trying to get out yeah. of it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, so Tony doesn't know that Junior. It was Junior, right? They tell him that there, don't they? Yeah, Christopher goes. It had to be June, right? Right, and, before, and, right, and right before, before they, he walks in, and, right before they kind of give each other a look, and then they're even talking and looking at him because he's like, "Hey, bring the things that look like salami over here." That's not what he said. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, my first thought was that when they eat that, I go, oh, Hess is bringing that over next podcast. <laughs> do you want to know my favorite yeah. part of the whole episode? I do. When the priest walks in. Oh, and oh, then yeah. Tony's like, what, are you staying the night? Hey, hey, why don't you grab a sandwich? You're spending the night, right? And he just goes, what? And like, it was, uh, Carmelo's like, um. <laughs> I was fucking dying laughing. When yeah, change like the that. subject real quick. Yeah. Uh, and then Tony meets with Melfi like at a park or something. Uh, shit, and I and forgot that happens. Yeah, they have like a yeah. secret meeting outside. And Car- like the, the, the Carmela look drives him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and she tells him she hasn't told anybody who he was. Yeah, uh, she's. Like, I told my immediate family that I had a client like you, but not you specifically. AJ still goes to his dance, but he has a couple chaperones. <laughs> that was funny. They're just both sitting there like, Hey, can I get some of that tequila? And they just don't say a word. They're smoking and yeah. shit in the back of the fucking. See. And you're telling me you look at that scene with both of them in the limousine and they don't look like they could be the same person just time traveled. No. No, I don't think they look anything Polly like. has fucking like white V's on the side yeah, of the head. Yeah, that's why I'm saying time travel. Is that for Valnut? Polly yeah. is the old one and then Sylvia is the young version of him. I mean, I get what you're trying to do, but it's just not happening. I'm not trying to do anything. The show time travel and you guys just missed that part. You didn't see whenever he walks in a room, you don't see that blue flash before he gets in there because he time traveled? You're going to lose Hess if there's time travel. We lost Hess Definitely. a long time ago. That's what true. timeline is this? <laughs> wow. What's Bernard you guys doing? Can do, you guys can do Westworld Season 3 on your own. We, we were worried that when there was a flashback to the 50s where that you were going to get like... Or I guess yeah. the 60s. Yeah. Like, does Hess know what's going on? No, I'm just kidding. Do you really think Hess would watch Westworld if he wasn't doing videos with it? Or do you think he'd give there's up no on it? There's no fucking way. I think he would give up on it after like episode 2. Probably gonna give up after. I don't want to watch it anymore. It's been too long already. It's been too long. It's been like six months. Eat a dick, bitch! It's been like <laughs> nineteen months. It's been. It's, it's, it's not, not been nineteen. It's months. been a year. Has been. It's year. been yeah. well, well over a year. It has been a year. It's been a year. Hey Alexa. Hey Alexa. When was the last episode of Westworld? Season two. The most recent episode of Westworld: The Passenger. Aired on June twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. June twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. So it's been so about it's been, it's a, been year. a year now, yeah. So it hasn't been six months, and it hasn't been nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. Hmm. So we're yeah. both wrong. Yeah, yeah. Has it been that long though? It's been a year and a week. It's been over a, over a year. Yeah. yeah. And I still remember everything. I'll. I I don't know if I can rewatch them. I can. Because we watched them 
We, I mean, I probably remember a lot because me and you watched every episode that last season twice. Sometimes even three times yeah. to do a, for a podcast. Yeah. I do. I think that is the best show to do a podcast for. It's though. the best show to do a podcast on. Because you, sure. you could just get lost in conversation for it's that. It's like legitimately. Le, 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 <laughs> legitimately. <laughs> legitimately. Here, I got it for Thank you. Thank you. Made to, to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my favorite part because the show is good. But my, it's just talking about it and being like, Hess will say something like, fuck. Oh, that could be true. Fuck. Like, that's that's the funnest part. Yeah. No, it was. You for can't sure. do that. But did Tony Soprano do this? Oh no, let me Google it real quick. Um. So this this episode ends with uh, Junior coming up to Livia and she can't find her slipper. Oh yeah. And he's like, "What the yeah. fuck, Livia?" <laughs> he did. He yelled. He it. scared the shit out of Noah over there. <laughs> what the fuck, Noah? Um, I don't think Junior's buying it. Yeah, not at all. He's like, "Oh, you can't fucking Definitely. remember your own granddaughter now all of a sudden." And she's like, "What?" Yeah, didn't, didn't he go like, uh, how fucking convenient or something like yeah. that? It was pretty fucking convenient. Yeah, because yeah, no, he's, because he, and he knows, he, think like, about it, he listened goes to, wrong at this, I'm fucked. Yeah, he, he listened to her, and what, what is he gonna say? Oh, well, your mom told me to do it. Yeah. I mean, give me a Even then, though, Tony would probably kill him and not his mom. So next week, we're doing episode 13. Yep, just 13. 13. One, we were gonna skip it, but then, we'll figure out what the hell. We, we can watch one episode. Well, yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, but then also, if anybody's well, if you're even sticking around this long no the podcast, we're doing Stranger Things starting Thursday. Uh, I don't know how many episodes in this season. It was eight the second season, I think, and nine or eight the first season, nine the second season. So who knows? But we'll doing w- one, maybe two a week, or not? I mean, one a maybe week? two, one maybe two a day. Sorry, <laughs> at least two a day. And trying right. to trying to finish it as quick as we can doing videos, kind of yeah. like we do with Ozark and Narcos Mexico and Good Omens and shit like that. Good Omens. Good Omens. I didn't mean to like do it like that. This is how it came out, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> just how it came out. Dr- Jerome's inner self is coming out. All right, so if we got this straight, Jimmy's the rat, Livia, the rat. Livia is senile. Losing her mind. And uh, Pussy is not a rat. And Puss- Tony got a jolt, a jolt of life, a new and jolt And Westworld of life. hasn't been on in 19 months. Yeah. yeah, that pretty much sums up this podcast. Yeah. Or, or six months, if you want to go that route. Yeah, yeah either way. I said about six months. That's close to a year. I was a little worried about 19. I, I knew you were wrong. I knew you were wrong. Fuck you. Listen but we weren't that. watching fucking Westworld at Christmas. Yeah, we were. Nope. I mean, we were watching that in the summer. That sounds hard to believe. It was beginning. Oh. If that was the last episode. Ten episodes. Go back ten weeks. <laughs> um, and I got Alexa to answer a question, and Jerome didn't. This is true. Yeah, why don't you guys just Hey, podcast? Alexa. She wanted to answer me. She did the thing. Oh. You're not asking anything. Uh, why is Jerome stupid? She turned off. I don't remember what happens in episode 13. I got to be honest. Yeah, I don't either. I thought I, 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 think... I thought I did. Uh, I thought two two. There's two possibilities of things that happen. I don't think either one of them happen. I'm I'm hoping one of them happen. It'll be fun to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But. I, I don't remember because it's been fucking 20 years since I watched this shit. And it hasn't been that That's long. That's good. But, but it's been a while. Yeah. I know what happens. I just don't know when. If that makes any sense. Yeah. No, that was your problem yeah. in Game of Thrones. A little bit. It's Game of Thrones, though, it, like, you know, I don't know. It's it's weird. I, yeah. I, I can't separate, like, season two of The Sopranos from season one in my mind. I just don't know. Well, I mean, maybe that's a good thing. That they're just that no, it's making, it makes it, it makes it fun. To watch. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And I've enjoyed the shit out of it, so that's the, that's the good part. Are right, you guys ready to wrap this up? Wrap this hot dog stand mm-hmm. up and tickle my wiener? We'll have Alexa get us out of here so she can listen. Alexa, Simon says, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your favorite part of this podcast, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below this podcast to see you guys next time. That was close enough. Also, check us out on Anchor and iTunes and see you guys next week. Did she, see, did she see Tumbleweed in the middle of that? I have a good grasp on the characters of the show.